All right, tell them what we're doing. We're making turtle sauce to come. We're making turtle sauce to come. The first time we ever had it, not turtle, but we had what? What they make? Was it gator or yeah, shrimp? Gator. Yeah. It's when we were gator hunting with our Pro Drive family out in Louisiana, and Lord, they can cook. And they made some sauce pecan, which my granddaddy, daddy's daddy, grew up in Louisiana. So I think daddy grew up on lots of Cajun recipes and such. Yep. So he got him a sauce shell a few days ago, and we're about to eat him. <laughs> <laughs> Get over here. Read the read. Reads what? Now, what we did, we Googled how to do it so it would make it easier. Yeah, because so, usually he just throws a bunch of stuff in the pot. Yeah. And says appreciate y'all, but <laughs> but this time we we actually Googled a recipe and I wrote it down with my chicken scratch handwriting because my phone ain't got enough storage to record all this. And Daddy can't see good enough to read it off the phone screen. <laughs> so I wrote it down. You probably can't read my handwriting anyway. Well, get to reading so I can tell them what I'm okay. doing right here. You want me to read the ingredients? If you can read your own handwriting, go ahead. <laughs> we got half a cup of butter. Which uh, I got in the pan right here. It's already in the pan. Yeah, it's hot. We got a heaping half cup of all-purpose flour. Two cups of chopped onion, which I don't like onion, can't help it. One cup of chopped green pepper. She don't like them, so I put three onions in there, which is some, probably more than more than what it's uh, calling for. Mm -hmm. One cup of chopped celery. Five garlic cloves. One six ounce can of tomato paste. One tablespoon of Cajun seasoning, or more to taste. Three to four pounds of turtle. In our case, we're using one big soft shell turtle. <laughs> we don't know what it is, but it's a bunch. <laughs> one it's big soft shell turtle. Yeah, but you know, we like more meat yeah. than everything else because we some carnivorous jokers. All right, what are we, what, right now I'm, I'm browning the, yeah. uh, the flour. Yeah. So what? Uh, it says, in one large heavy pot like a Dutch oven. Heat the butter over medium high heat for a minute or two. Stir in the flour, then turn the heat down to medium. Okay. Cook the roux, stir it often until it turns the color of peanut butter about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay. Which, this is the same thing that he does for like dove gravy and squirrel gravy. Yeah, brown it. Yeah, just making. Any kind of gravy. Yeah. Making your own gravy, your own roux. Are we getting peanut butter yeah. color? Now what? <clears throat> Says while the roux is cooking, heat six cups of water in another pot to bowling. Got it. Yep, hold it at a simmer for now. Yep. You gotta turn the page. When the roux is ready, add onion, celery, green pepper, and stir to combine. So he's adding all them ingredients, which right, I never got go. done reading the ingredients while ago. Here we go. Well, you're gonna have to tighten up because I got the peanut butter already going. All right, well, he's adding all that junk. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they need to see this. Let me get another smallish angle here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, now what? Turn the heat to medium high and cook this. Turn it often until everything is soft. Take about six to eight minutes. And then sprinkle some salt over everything while you're doing that. Sprinkling the salt. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. This thing right here gets hot. Yeah. This stove right here is a lot different. After the six to eight minutes, you're going to add garlic, Cajun season, tomato paste, and stir to combine. All right, you want to go back through the... Uh, Ingredients. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can you can do it to taste so because I went over on the celery, I went over on the onions, and I probably went over on the bell pepper. Yeah, but you, I, he's also got more turtle than it's calling for too. Yeah. The only thing I didn't go over on was the flour. I did put a, a half a cup of all-purpose flour. Yeah. Anyways. Do I add that water? 
doesn't say. When does it say add to work? Uh, step four, that's next. Okay. That's when you're adding the beer and stuff. Beer? Yeah, okay. Anyways, back from the top on the ingredients. Half a cup of butter, heap and half cup all-purpose flour, two cups chopped onion, one cup chopped bell pepper, one cup chopped celery, five garlic cloves, one six ounce can of tomato paste, a tablespoon of Cajun seasoning or more to taste. Did you say a tablespoon? Probably. <laughs> a tablespoon. <laughs> See, tablespoon. That's you can't read it all right. That ain't reading. That's not being able to talk. I can read it. I just you ain't got a tablespoon. That's like a crossbreed. <laughs> yes, yeah, hybrid. It's a, it's a hybrid for teeth. Well, Keep in the hand. <laughs> One soft shell turtle. Oh, man. A cup of white wine, but in our case, we're using beer because we don't have any white wine because we yeah, need we fancy. <laughs> Instead, we got some Miller Lite <laughs> over here. <laughs> Whatever. Some financial light. <laughs> no. Oh, one 20 ounce, 28 ounce can of tomato puree or crushed tomatoes, four bay leaves. So you go out in the yard and you pick some bay leaves off a tree. Yeah. Yeah. So what you do know, I add now? Salt, black pepper, hot sauce. Yeah, and chopped green onions or parsley for garnish, which we ain't too worried about garnish. Yeah, we ain't garnish. The pretty stuff. We don't care what it looks like. Um, yeah, after you six, six, we don't have minutes. cloves of garlic, we do have minced garlic. Yeah, so we're improvising. Add garlic, Cajun seasoning, and tomato paste, and stir till combined. All right, and the tomato paste. Yes. All right, yeah, we need it like. You know, they ought to do something better than this. They come up with something better than this. Tomato paste in a can. You can't get you can't get it out. Plus we got Merle down here helping us. Oh yeah. Okay, and you said oh uh, stir to combine and cook it, stirring occasionally for three to four minutes. Well didn't I miss something though? Tomato paste and the oil. Oh, that was it. The, and the Cajun. You put garlic, Cajun seasoning. No, how, much, how many cloves of garlic is it saying? Five. Five. There's. Guesstimation. That's probably about five. <laughs> That'd be good anyway. You can't go wrong with garlic. I guess you can, but. Mm -hmm. Woo! Let me put a little bit more salt. Does it say anything about some uh, black pepper? Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, at some point. I think that's just to taste. I'm going to put a little bit in there right now. Just a touch. Just a skosh. Just a skosh. Yeah. Now, what it's saying on here is, I guess, leave it on the stove at a simmer, but we're not going to be here. We're going to be working, so I'm going to put it in that crock pot. I already got the liner in it. Mm -hmm. Just to make uh, just to make life a little bit easier. And let me tell you, that pot right there gets hot. All right. That had not been six minutes, but... Uh, well, the other one was supposed to be six to eight minutes, but I don't know that matters. It don't matter. It's all going in the same pot, and it's all going to cook out. Yeah. You don't have to go by every, you know, we don't ever do anything. The recipe deal is a little different than he's used to. Yeah. Okay. Now. He usually freestyles. Now, yeah. mix in the turtle meat. Already? Well, after the three to four minutes of the stirring and keeping and jump. What about water? Uh, da, da. That is after each. You mix in the turtle meat, then add the cup of white wine or the Miller High Life. <laughs> the can of crushed tomatoes and the hot water. All right, look here. Stirring quarter, as you add. Quarter this bad boy up. Yeah, we got bone and all. If it'll fit, I don't know if it's gonna fit. I don't think it's gonna fit. It probably ain't. We may have to do like, <laughs> like that. 
and then keep this front shoulder in his neck. Mm. I don't know. What do you think? It's gonna be tight. I don't know if it'll fit. It'll fit in there. It ain't gonna fit in there. Who's calling me? I don't know who that is. All right. We just go with this much right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I'm adding. You said a what? On the beer. Add the cup of Miller High Life. Instead of white wine, about a cup right there. The can of crushed tomatoes. All right. Well, I got that's 28 ounces, wasn't it? So it'd be a big can. Yeah, I think it was a 28 ounce. Yep, 28. All right. So we we don't have uh, we don't have a can. We don't cans. measure. We just well, get there's it. there's two. I think there's like 14 14 ounces in the can. All right, now the water. Yep, now the hot water stirring as you add it. Because, you know, I don't know how you're going to stir that big old front shoulder on a turtle wood. Yeah, it's full, y'all. It's full. We need a super can to cook this stuff in. It says add salt and taste, but you ain't gonna be sampling that junk yet. No, <laughs> you yeah, get all kind of salmonella E. Coli. Ooh, let me tell you though, y'all, that's gonna be good. I'm gonna see if it'll fit and if I can put all the meat in there. Mm -hmm. I think it is. Uh oh. Y'all didn't see that. Okay, now. Now we're gonna let's, try to swap it over. Yeah, let them let them look. Here, let's let stop that. Let That's what it looks like right now. Ooh. Merle's like, what is going on? And we're fixing, we're about to drop it in the uh, crock pot and put it on low and let it thaw. Uh, and we got our helper here. Yeah. Yeah, my baby daughter. Yeah, he's big, big time help. But we're gonna let it simmer all day long and then uh, tonight uh, we'll finish the video up a little bit of rice or biscuits or whatever you want to pour, you know, I think we're going to do rice. And, you know, of course, Merle gets his share. That's what he's waiting on right now, so. All right, y'all. Y'all hang in there. We're going to be eating pretty quick. All right. All right, we got it in the crock pot right here. Let's got a little line in there. Keeps it a whole lot easier to clean up. And I'm going to put it on low. And let it sit all day long. All day long. Yeah, not and all day, but yeah, we'll come in this afternoon. A few hours. Yeah. I'll come in at lunch, check it, and then go back out. Oh, go back to work, come back this afternoon, late and this evening. Finish the video up. Finish the video up, cook some rice, pour it over some rice or biscuits or whatever. I don't know exactly what we're going to do, but it won't take long to do those. So we'll come in, pour that over there. And yeah. Grease down. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. All right. Had it cooking all day. Oh, I left it on high for a little while, and then I come in about lunch and cut it down to low. And uh, cooking some rice right now. Let me tell you, that is perfect, y'all. Perfect. That's my favorite, favorite meat. There he is right there, turtle. Anyway. Put that over rice or biscuit or grits or something like that. And let me tell you, it don't get no better than that right there, I promise you. I did add a little bit of salt, a little bit more pepper to it. Oh, you know, it just flavored the taste like you want it. If you want to put a little, uh, little bit more cayenne in there to bump it up a little bit or, uh, or even some Tabasco or whatever, you know, to get the heat up in it if you like it like that. You know, a lot of people don't. Some people do, but... Uh, you just flavor it to what you want, salt and pepper it. But I promise you, y'all give this a go right here. This is fine. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Appreciate y'all.